Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to save battery life on Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So the first step is turn on dark mode. So in order to do this, slide down from the top once, slide down one more time, and then from here, just slide to the left until you see dark mode. So maybe I may need to slide one more time. You see dark theme, if this is off, turn it on. So why dark theme benefits the battery life is it will turn off pixels on the screen which are black and that's why OLED displays look so good because on an LCD the full display is always on with OLED black parts uh, which are you know on the display they'll just be turned off entirely and what this means is dark theme will have more black areas uh, to display instead of white which means you're going to save battery life if you don't see dark theme here just tap on edit slide down it should be somewhere here and just drag and drop it go back and then you'll be able to turn it on right here now the next step is to disable 90 hertz so uh, on google pixel 6 pro it'll be 120 hertz on the regular pixel 6 it'll be 90. so we do this by opening up settings we're going to scroll down until we see display we're going to tap on display and you see here at the very bottom smooth display so on pixel 6 pro it will say 120 hertz in at the regular pixel 6 it will say 90. turn this one off now keep in mind your phone may look a bit laggy because the refresh rate has been lowered. So by default, the refresh rate of the display is 90 hertz, uh, 120 on Pixel 6 Pro, which means every second the display will refresh 120 or 90 times. Now when you change this, uh, you turn off the smooth display, it will limit the refresh to 60, which means it's going to refresh half as much and you'll get a massive battery boost from this option alone. On top of this, we can disable 5G. So let's go back and let's go to the top here. Now work on the internet and then you just find your SIM. Now I don't have a SIM connected, but from here, there'll be an option to choose your network. And by default, it will say 5G, 4G, 3G, and 2G. But 5G actually uses way more battery life compared to 4G, 3G, and 2G. So I would recommend turn off 5G and then from there, you'll get improved battery life. Now from here, we can also turn off Wi-Fi scanning. So you may not know this, but by default, your phone, even if it's off, even if Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are off, it will constantly scan for Wi-Fi networks for Bluetooth devices in the background. And what this means is when you go to the Wi-Fi area, it will just improve, you know, showing the Wi-Fi networks, but you know, it's not a big deal. So let's turn it off because it drains a lot of battery. So let's search up for Wi-Fi scanning. Okay, so scan, and you see here, See the Wi-Fi scanning, the top one, tap on this one, and you see a Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. Tap on each one individually and turn these ones off. So on top of this, Wi-Fi scanning is actually used to track your address even if your phone is on airplane mode. So, you know, it's not just uh, going to help you say battery life, it's also going to help your privacy as well if you care about that stuff. Now let's go back to the home page of settings and we're going to find privacy. And then from here, we're going to find usage, so it's at the bottom, and turn off usage and diagnostics. So every time, you know, an app crashes or something lags or you have good performance, uh, your Google Pixel 6 will send that data to Google servers. And because your Google Pixel 6 is constantly tracking the data and the usage, uh, it will send all that data that will use more battery life, it will use more network. And so by turning this one off, you're going to say battery life on your Google Pixel 6. Next is turning off location for certain apps. So here is the deal on my Pixel 6, I have location off entirely. Uh, I'm not saying you should turn off your location entirely, but it will actually help battery life, uh, you know, if you toggle it off and on uh, to when you need it. But here is the deal, okay? App location permissions, Google has access to my location even if the app isn't open. Why would they need that they don't? So tap on, any uh, location permission which it says allow all the time and change this to allow only while using the app or ask every time so while we're using the app the, or the app will have access to your location the whole time ask every time means it will have to ask for permission when it needs a location so if it's asking for permission for no reason then uh, obviously something suspicious but uh, don't say this to allow all the time uh, unless you know it's an application which generally requires that but Google, yeah, I don't think so. So I'm gonna change that to, uh, you know, allow only while using the app. It did give me a warning message. A warning message is basically code name for, we wanna track you 24 seven, let's turn that one off. 
uh, using location does also use more battery and we're trying to save the battery. Now let's go back to the home page settings and we're going to scroll until we see battery. We're going to tap on this one. And so we have a couple of options inside of here. We have the battery saver, so we can turn this one on. Now the battery saver will do some of the tips I showed earlier, okay? So it's gonna turn on the dark theme for you. It will turn the background activity, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, some visual effects, certain features. This will also disable the 90 or 120 Hertz. Uh, so if you're trying to, you know, just keep that on, well, we'll turn that one off if you turn uh, on the battery saver. Now on top of this, let's go back again and we're going to go to battery optimization. So let's go to apps. And then from here, we're gonna find all apps. And then we're gonna find the app itself. So just go to any app, okay? And here is the deal. If we go to battery, you can see this. Manage battery usage. You have unrestricted, optimized, and restricted. So you can see here, some apps will be set to unrestricted by default. And so what this means is they'll use a ton of backgrounds, you know, usage, uh, CPU power, and so you're gonna get really bad battery. This is why Androids have a reputation for having worse battery life than iOS, because on iOS, okay, that's just the iPhone operating system. Uh, not, they never allow you to, uh, you know, have app developers, it's constantly running the backgrounds, uh, the apps, not enough. So optimized is okay, but restricted is what I recommend you set this to because it restricts the applications from running constantly in the background, okay? Does Amazon need to be running 24 seven in the background? No. Does Facebook need to be running 24 seven in the background? No. So go to the applications one by one, okay? So let's say, you know, uh, messages and do the same thing here. Uh, in this case, this needs to be unrestricted because, you know, you know when it fetches SMSs, uh, you want to be notified. But some other applications which really don't need to be running in the background 24-7, like YouTube, I think we can, uh, you know, set that to restrict and stuff like that. Uh, just play around with it and that will help save battery life. And um, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Those are the battery tips. Bye-bye.